Good morning, everyone. This is Kira. I am in my creativity space. I am in my home studio studio space, and you can tell that it was pretty messy going on right now. There's a lot of stuff in here, and my idea right now is to set up a backdrop right over here. There's no backdrop. And I would like it to be all black so I can set up lights and use it. Good morning. So this is going to be a bit scattered per my norm because I have manpower, but not enough manpower to lift everything and move it all at once. Sometimes you need an assistant. There's no assistant. So you get to watch how does one set up a studio space all by themselves. So, hey, there's light on me. Very cool. So I am going to get to work and I'm going to check back in with you and you'll probably be hearing me go oof ah, ah, as things like fall on my head and stuff because seriously there is so much stuff in the way in this room and there's never enough space. So first things, I need some stands for my backdrops. So I got one right there. Okay, that's one of my big ones. And I need to get this box out of my way. This box is not relevant. I just trapped myself inside of this room. If there is a fire, I am stuck because I put the box in front of the door. Okay, so don't do that. Um, let's move this out of the way. can tell these stands are pretty darn big. So I'm gonna put this one over here. Okay. Good. <laughs> so every photographer, we have a photographer here chiming in. Every photographer knows that we are not all given the gift of luxury of space and lack of crowdedness because creativity means you have like streamers, clothespins, and hats and I'm supposed to be setting up not showing you my toys you know this is going to be really cool it's going to reset reflect yourself um so all sorts of weird stuff and it makes it really difficult to set up um yeah so anyway um this is work safe so 14 year olds can be setting up too and adults can be setting up so I'm going to set up this creative space I don't really care how long you guys are. Okay, anyway, I gotta get to work. Just hold my iPhone, let's put that over there. Gotta put this together. I have two backdrops, and this is my really big one, as you can tell. I mean, that's like the length of this entire room. So, yeah, it's pretty big. For this next shoot, I was going to be doing shadows on myself for a request of somebody, and it's a little bit more complicated. I'm only a natural light shooter, and yet I have all these like great lights in here. So I use them once in a while because they're great. Okay, so this is the easy part. I am putting the backdrop up on this rod, so I have to go black. Now this is where it gets trickier. Okay, now I have to get this all the way higher. I have a mirror over there that I'm not working. Okay. Put 
goodbye. Hey, that wasn't so hard. Okay, so this is what I worried about. As you can tell, it is really bright back there. And I need to cover that. So I either have to cover it with boards, which I don't think I have enough, or I have to do this whole like double decker, two backdrops. So I am going to have to, and it's just so bright over there. I'm gonna have to put another backdrop up there. So let me go grab another one in a second. All right. And I have to buy find clips. So the trick to doing this stuff is having everything thought out in advance. Kids, don't try this at home. So it is very thick material. It's very sunny, sunny. Um, I normally just do, I normally have clips on hand. There they are. They have eluded me. So, get some clips. So I'm going to be disappeared for a minute. You might be able to see me back there. Another great option is always just waiting until nighttime. And you do this when the sun goes down. Okay, so one of the things of being a photographer in a small place or a photographer in general is being creative. So I have decided just now that I'm actually going to make this terrible light, man, terrible light. I'm actually going to go and make a board to sit in that window because every time I try to do this backdrop thing, there's extra light except for when it's winter and it's nighttime. So today I am going to make a box thing. Sits in the window, solves that problem forever. I'm not gonna move the computer because that light is terrible. So we're not gonna worry about that. And I'm gonna show you setting up some basic lights. Okay. Just kind of look cool. I am looking for lights I have not left. Hello again. Okay, so I am now hiding behind this thing. There's a closet right here and some lights. Okay. 
and this baby is the one I'm going to use. Okay. Okay. Let's get turned around again. Let's get this light. So it's going to go dark for a second. I'm going to turn this one off. Don't worry. It's not scary. I'm still here. Take you off. Okay, we got a little bit more light. So this room does not have any light on except for the ones I put on. So right now it's gonna be dark. So I get this big kahuna on there. And you'll see how cool this one is in a minute. Yeah, that's got a lot of power. Look at that. It's like a lighthouse. So the thing about these ones are they're really, really, really hot once they warm up. So you can't touch them. So I'm pulling around by this and I normally get gloves. So that's a bigger spot. Let's see, bigger spot. You can make a smaller spot. So this is actually what I'm going to be using for the shoot I have in mind. Over here. And it's very tricky to move around because if you touch it, you will burn yourself. So I'm just going to have to figure out how, how, what, where, why um, the shoot is going to be doing shadows on myself. So I'm going to turn off this other light. It's like, <clears throat> you can tell there is a lot of power from this one. Like, I mean, that's really bright. So I'm going to be dealing with that. Let me see some of these things that I've been... Mm. Heavy black trash bags. That's a good idea. Maybe I will do that today. Um. So there's one question saying light qu setup for portraits. Most of my por self portraits are done with natural light. Um, I kind of am a mad scientist artist and I move stuff around. So for anyone joining now, I'll just give you a really quick tour of this random stuff in here with Way Bright. Because um, I have these old Hollywood lights, and then there's a bunch of them down there. And then, you know, I have these LED things right there. Okay, you can see that. I'm not sure what you can see. And in, be careful of that light. This closet has all sorts of treasures and lights and stuff. Anyway, I prefer natural light, but sometimes for what I'm trying to do, it's better to use other lights. So. Um, anyway, I don't really understand why there's conversations about 14 year olds going on. Y'all are weird. We're talking about lighting setups and like studio spaces and light shining through things. So anywho, I think this is probably pretty good. Now I just need to come up with what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna be shining like shadows on myself and whatnot. So yeah. I think that's pretty good. I am going to get to work and figure out what I'm gonna do now that I have the backdrop up. Ta-da! Wow, it's like as wide as my arms are. Cool. Um yeah, so anyway, I'm going to go. Thanks, y'all, for joining me. And check out my Patreon to see some of the cool photos that I am going to create 
with this. Some of them are a special set for somebody who would commission them, so you won't get to see those, but you'll get to see a lot of other cool things because, you know, while I'm set up, I like to do a bunch of stuff. So anyway, check it out, sign up, and I'll see you later. Have a great week. Bye.